want to not be on my team. I can't really see what did I miss. Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video, you guys. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing okay. A few of you requested that I do some HR videos. Sometimes I am being held back by fear. You know, I feel like I'm not experienced enough because I'm only like five years in the game. And then the first like two, three years, this was basically, you know, finding your feet, you know, and then the rest of the three years is when I actually put in work, like did actual work. So sometimes I feel like, oh, I'm not good enough to talk about it. Let me be like 10 years in the game and then I can talk about it. But, but that shouldn't be the case. Share a little knowledge if you're an HR person and you agree to what i'm saying leave in the comments if you have um further things you want to add please feel free let's all learn together so today you guys know about the title how to get into hr or how to get hr jobs if you have little to no experience let's get into the video all right so please subscribe to this channel if you like anything lifestyle education relationship beauty anything and if you like this look i posted how i achieved this look go watch that go watch in fact watch all my videos if you are new to the channel if you've missed any videos you've been away you're welcome back i have tons of videos for you guys firstly i would like to say that in my opinion i feel like um hr is a profession that can be learned on the job because you can't say you're going to be an accountant and you have no basic knowledge in accounting you get so accounting is a different ball game but HR, PR, I feel like they are jobs that can be learned on the job. However, however, um, if you want to do well, if you want to be taken seriously, you need to have prior experience, you need to have prior knowledge. And that is why I'll be listing these things for you that can help you before you even think of going into HR, okay? So number one thing is that what professional experience do you have at all because hr contains this administration right and at least you should have been an administrative assistant like that should be your um coming up like that should be your first experience you have like two years experience in being an administrative assistant administrator whatever the role is called but you need to have your administration game on your fingertips because you need to know how to write a report you need to know how to write minutes um memos um letters how to write emails how to respond to emails that should be at your fingertips so if you are a very good administrator you can easily be an hr person because as an administrator also you deal with the staff you deal with a lot of people people come in people go out so normally people who venture into hr are receptionist administrative assistant administrative officers so it's kind of from here hr is the only thing you can think about unless you have like bigger goals than hr you know how to work to that but i will say that you should probably start from being an administrative assistant a receptionist a job that you interface with people you deal on a day-to-day with people as an admin you are being asked questions oh my seat is not working oh my the, my office light is not working this is not working this is not working so how you deal with people's issues and everything receptionist people come to you here and there it all together you can be an HR director because literally the human relations part depends on that and you already have that so that will help you number two you need to join linkedin if you don't have a linkedin account i promise you you should get a linkedin i promise you you should get a linkedin why because one you will chance on jobs that you never even knew existed it opens your mind to the kind of things people are hiring for the kind of jobs people are into so having a linkedin because it's a professional space some people are now making it like instagram posting pictures you know so it's a professional space and so you get to see how other professions are you get to see how other people are you know living and how other workplaces are you get to see job titles that i said like i said you've never seen before that you should probably take a look at so join linkedin join a professional community it will help you number three is you should take short courses one when you join linkedin linkedin has certain courses 
that they offer you need to pay some money like thirty dollars forty dollars and they'll give you a certification and i think that helps people personally um if i'm hiring somebody for an hr role an assistant role and the person literally doesn't have how do i call it any experience in HR, but the person has taken some short courses i am most likely to consider a little bit because i know that the person has tried something and around hr and definitely i can ask questions around that if you want to take the whole certification course normally um you see the one i graduated from chr even sph rm um they don't like you can not study hr's first degree and still get admission to study that so take courses like mine like what i did the cihrm or take the shrm courses they are all the same um so you can take any of them and then you are good to go at least you have basic knowledge you have certificates to prove that you are really interested in the career and you want to be a professional in the career for five have the labor law knowledge you should because every hr vacancy i have seen or even me if i'm recruiting for an hr person the person should have a knowledge of the Ghanaian labor law that's if you're in ghana or any country you find yourself you should know the labor laws of that country you know because you can go into an interview and they'll ask you what is the employable age in ghana and as an hr person you're going to employ you're going to hire you don't know they're not going to take you seriously they're going to ask you questions like um dismissal or fair termination all those things so if you don't know what is in the law and you enter into probably you don't know which company you're going to maybe you're going to a company that do not follow any laws but if you know the laws and you go in then they're like oh sack this person why what's the policy do you have a policy what does the policy say on this particular behavior why are we terminating because if because we hire and fire so they claim it is based on the directive of management so if management tells you oh fire this guy your next question should be why has he gone through is it about performance has he gone through performance improvement what is our policy saying on terminating somebody's employment because this person can literally just walk straight to labor and the person has a case and they'll sue you for every last cent that you have so as hr you act like both the first point of contact in law and before they can the company can get to their lawyer you should have already known the law so getting to know the labor law is very important if you want to start your hr career and the last thing that i will say is to um link with um hr managers recruiters and um, people in the hr field okay if it's your passion to be in the hr career i think you should be friends with such people okay learn from them um ask questions um and know keep in touch so that when they because one of the the main reason i wrote this is because normally when you are when you have a link with um i mean aside doing the first five things i've mentioned right when you have the link with hr managers it is just uh, the icing on the cake because they know you have all these experience they know you are learning a short course they know you are on linkedin looking for jobs they know you are this they know you are that if they're on linkedin also they see an available vacancy they can always um tag you under it they can always recommend you and all that and even if they themselves are hiring you'll be the first person that will come into their mind oh this my friend wants to be in the career oh this my friend is an admin and she wants to go into hr let me give her a try like i said hr is mostly on the job you can learn on the job that's why sometimes you're in a company and somebody's an admin or receptionist the next person the next thing you see the person is in the hr office working as an hr is because they have worked the person into the role so it's very kind of um an easy uh career opportunity but it's definitely difficult it's definitely it's difficult because of the emotional intelligence you need a lot of emotional intelligence to be um an hr because people tell you their issue people hate you people hate you <laughs> so much that if you are not careful it would affect you it would affect how you work with them because i tell you there are people in the workplace that can like they literally let you know that they dis they dislike you only because you are hr i can walk into a room and the place is quiet 
it's not because they respect me so much because the idea is ye, hr is here ye, hr is here and that can affect me from till like, oh well i'm never stepping into that office anymore you know but emotional intelligence will teach me that i need to get close to these people because i whatever i do is centered on on them so if i'm not close to them if i don't know what they're feeling what they're doing imagine i don't okay since they don't want me there i'm sitting at my place i'm not going to talk to them again imagine yeah, i'm in my office and i hear screaming what am i going to do nobody will tell me what happened because nobody fucks with me so as an hr you need a lot of emotional intelligence to be able to handle a lot of people um different behaviors and attitudes in the workplace you need you need the emotional intelligence so that's one big quality that you need as an hr person so i'll leave it here if there's anything that you like to talk about or touch on leave it in the comments and i'll surely find time to do a video for you guys thank you guys so much and i really appreciate all of you ciao